Hello everyone, Camilla here from Decodable Readers Australia. Today we're going to have a look at our early readers set and why this is a necessity in your classroom. Now here in Australia, most schools are coming up to the end of term one, which means students have roughly had eight, nine, maybe even 10 weeks of school. Now, if they are implementing an explicit systematic and synthetic phonics program, that means that those students have a knowledge of most common consonants and short vowels coming into the end of term one, and they're really ready to take off. Now, no doubt in your classroom, you have a lot of word work where students are learning at word level and being taught how to blend those words together. Now it's time to put that into practice of a text. And that's where these come in. We've got 10 books that follow the developmental sequence of learning. What that means is that students need to build words starting at two sounds. So we call these VC words, vowel consonant, like it and at and in. Then we move to CVC words, that's consonant, vowel, consonant. Words like sit and sat and tip and tap. Now here at Decodable Readers Australia, we recommend uh, introducing six sounds in the very first level and we introduce our sat pin, sat, p, e, n, our sat pin sounds. Now with those sounds, we can read up to 10 readers and these readers go no further than CVC. So it gives students lots of practice before jumping into our level one, which takes them that little bit further. So our early readers have only VC and CVC words, two and three sound words. So let's jump in and have a look at one of our books. Today I'm going to read the text called Tap a Tin. It's actually our early reader book three. If we have a look, there's beautiful images. Also on the back is a reminder of the sounds that are going to be present in that text and any sight words. Now sight words are our high frequency words and in our early readers, we really stay clear of those, there's just one. Even in our level one text, we don't actually introduce any of those high frequency words until we get to book six. So let's have a look at tap a tin. It starts off very simple and we build in complexity, but still remaining at that CVC level. We start here with one word, this is nip. Now you can see here, even the word nip has a continuant sound at the start. What that means is that is a stretchy sound. They're easier to blend than stop sounds. So n and s are easier to blend than p and t. So we start off with a CVC word called nip. Very simple. A tin, a pan. So we're building that capacity. We've got two words on the page. Now we've got three words on a page. Tap a tin, tap a pan. Now what we want to encourage when they first start reading is a blend as you read strategy. Now most kids do the stop start and that's okay. We really want to get them to blend those sounds rather than stop start. It's fine at CVC level, but as they move up and have more sounds, they actually hear the sounds in isolation rather than that blending um, motion, which is easier to uh, work out what the word is saying, blending that together. So for example, the word spin down the track, we can sound it out by going spin rather than spin, and they have to put it together. So we start even in our early readers to teach the blend as you read strategy. Tap rather than tap. And you can hear it's easier to hear as a whole when you stretch rather than that stop starting. So tap a pan. Tap, tap, tap. Tap a tin. Tap a pan. And you can see even when they get more fluent, it even has a bit of a beat to it. Tap a tin. Tap a pan. Tap, tap, tap. 
and you can, you can really pull out even more language from this by talking about a band, talking about making music, what else could you tap? In the back of our books are questions to just check for understanding, that they're understanding what they've read as well, because comprehension and checking for understanding is important as well. So as you can see, our little readers are important in the reading process. Now in our early reader set, there are 10 books to give that cumulative practice before moving to our level one. To find out more, visit our website.